Hey everyone, it is a beautiful day here in Tennessee. This is gonna be a great day. My daughter brought me Starbucks coffee, pumpkin latte. I mean, I couldn't refuse that. I'm not a big Starbucks fan, but I couldn't refuse that coffee. And I'm all jittered up now. So I think I'm gonna clean my house. But I wanted to share with y'all this recipe that I made yesterday morning. This is called monkey butter and it is so yummy. This monkey butter will last up to six weeks in your refrigerator and you can freeze it. Some people say you can can it. It will last up to a year in your pantry. That I don't know because this doesn't last very long in my house. Okay, grab that pan and go ahead and slice up five ripe bananas. Make sure that you have no brown spots in those bananas. And ideally, they would be a yellow banana, but mine were a little bit past that, and that's okay. Now you'll need a can of crushed pineapple. I have tidbits here, and that works too. Pour that can in, juice and all. Now we're going to add one fourth cup of coconut flakes, and I actually put those in my little ninja and ground them up. It really does work better in this recipe if you have ground coconut. You'll need some sugar, and we are going to add three cups of sugar. Now three tablespoons of lemon juice, and I did use a fresh squeezed lemon. But you can use the real lemon that's in the bottle from the grocery store if you'd like. Now go ahead and mix this up. Turn your stovetop eye on to medium to high. That's about an eight on my stovetop. I know your stovetop might be different, but if that helps some of you. And go ahead and stir this up. And then we are going to let this get to a full rolling boil. Now we're rolling. Okay, so I did walk away and I put my spoon on top to keep it from boiling over, but you can stir this occasionally. This didn't take very long, maybe 10 minutes. It's at a full rolling boil. Once it gets at the full rolling boil, you wanna turn that stove top eye down to low to medium, and we are going to cook this for 15 minutes. Now you can walk away from this to maybe clean up your kitchen or something, but you do wanna come back and check on it and give it a stir. And 15 minutes later, voila, we're ready to put it in the jars. I always like to use a funnel. This works great. Um, it definitely saves you from splatters. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour this in the jar. Also, I have a one cup measuring spoon here that I'm using, stainless steel, I believe. This is perfect for pouring it in there. You wanna make sure that you leave about a fourth to a half an inch around the lip of the jar. Now we're just gonna take a damp paper towel and wipe the rim of those jars just to make sure you don't have any of the banana butter on those rims. Now, if you wanna can this, you can do a water bath. I actually did. Y'all, this tropical monkey butter is so good. You can put it over ice cream. You can put it over waffles. You can eat it with peanut butter on a sandwich. You can even put it in desserts, but my favorite way to eat it is on pancakes. So this morning, I made me and my little baby girl some pancakes, and I only fed her about half of that pancake because after eating that, she was wound up like a little monkey. But she crashed, and I was able to get some housework done. Actually, I did a lot of housework after that coffee from Starbucks. Have any of you ever made this monkey butter? If you haven't, you'll definitely wanna give this one a try.